everybody and welcome again to Nathan on Shuffle. This is an album spotlight that I'm doing, a new album that just came out that I'm super excited about that I want to talk about. I will be doing this pretty regularly, I hope, of really spotlighting and doing a specific video about an album that really speaks to me, that really is important to me and that I want to recommend to everyone to listen to. So this is one of those types of shows, a new album spotlight. And what I'm spotlighting today is Liquid Tension Experiment and their newest album, their third album. Uh, this is really exciting stuff. Uh, this is a band that made a couple records back in the late 90s, uh, but since have been silent and haven't made records uh, until now. 22 years later, they're coming out with, with a new album. It's really exciting. And although the pandemic has been kind of horrible in a lot of ways, this has been one of the small silver linings is that we got this group to get back together and to do music again. And what's what they produced is amazing. So first, I'm going to do an unboxing. I got the new album, kind of the, the box set, ultimate version of it, and it just got delivered to me. And so I kind of wanted to do a little bit of an unboxing and showcase the the product, the the actual box set and everything that's part of it. And then afterwards, I'm gonna talk a bit about the album itself and kind of my impressions, kind of a quick shot review and recommendation of the album and kind of a brief, maybe history of my experience with the band and so forth. So first, let's get into the unboxing. All right. Let me open this guy up. So here we go, Liquid Tension Experiment 3. Look at that, very pretty, uh, great cover. I love the, the colors there, the, the different splatter and, and so forth. I think it's really, really slick, really cool. Here's the, the back of it, very nice. I really love this. Let me unwrap it. Let's see what's inside the box. Okay, so going through the contents of the box, we've got this piece here. This is the CDs. Very cool. Of course, an insert in here of the Blu-ray. So that's cool. Uh, 5.1 makes with visualizer and an interview with the group. So that's going to be fun to, to enjoy. Um, and of course, the album on the CD. So this is a cool cool piece love once again love the artwork very like psychedelic and and a lot of different colors and it's just really really neat so <laughs> then we've got some cool pictures here of the of the band uh, of course John Petrucci this is Jordan Rudess very cool Mike Portnoy of course and Tony Levin to round it out. Definitely some cool pictures here. I love that, that face mask. It was pretty funny. Uh, the King Crimson uh, cover there. Uh, really cool. Of course, uh, a booklet, a long booklet here. Looks like it talks about the different songs, their their thoughts on the songs and, and how they came about. So that'll be fun to read and to get into. Um, to kind of get a feel for the story behind the album. So I'm excited. Some good reading material to enjoy while listening. Um, looks like here we've got a big, big old poster. That's cool. Uh, definitely uh, worthy of hanging up somewhere. I may hang it up on my wall over there. Really cool. And on the back, also cool. Uh, kind of, I don't know, like a Dark Beatles vibe, maybe. Uh, the band there. Uh, I really like like that it's really cool uh, really fun great poster great packaging this is all really fantastic um here we go this is the album on vinyl uh as i like to point out a gatefold here the band there just super cool uh packaging of course i have to pull out the actual uh vinyl itself to show you the color it's a unique colored edition here 
and we've got a nice pink vinyl very cool I, I really like this it's it's unique and it fits with kind of the very colorful uh, album in and of itself just really cool packaging I really am finding this fun to unpack here my first time seeing all this as I did film it um, and then another vinyl here a vinyl of the a night at the improv uh, they're more improv improvisational tracks uh, the other uh, vinyl is the main album this is the kind of improv jammy things that they have here so that'll be fun as well to get into stuff I haven't listened to yet and this is also the same pink vinyl so very cool and so those are the contents of this excellent box set really excited to put these on my turntable uh, to watch the blu-ray to read through all the 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 notes and everything else just really awesome I really love when bands put a lot of care into the, the packaging and, and the experience. Transatlantic did that similarly uh, with the Absolute Universe that came out a couple months back. So just really cool that bands are focusing on the physical product still, even though we're probably in more of a streaming age. Um, and as for the album itself, uh, the album itself is really amazing. Just everything you'd expect from the band is there in spades. It's them doing what they do best to an expert level. I just can't gush enough about how amazing the work is on this album. Just to kind of give a brief history, I said I, I would. Um, Liquid Tissue Experiment is a super group um, featuring members of, of Dream Theater, of course, uh, Tony Levin from King Crimson fame and various projects, um, Mike Portnoy, of course, who's uh, was in Dream Theater back at the time of the early records coming out, as well as John Petrucci, and then Jordan Rudess, who later joined Dream Theater after this uh, project. So they created two albums in the later 90s, back-to-back, uh, -back, essentially. And my history, I actually found these records at a used CD store around where I was at during college. I found a used CD store near where my dorm was, and I just went and, and looked at what was available. And I was already getting into Dream Theater and so forth. And so I saw that it had a lot of the same uh, notable figures from Dream Theater. So I felt like, oh, I have to get this. I have to hear this. And luckily I purchased that and it just blew my mind. It's just amazing music. And that really is what catapulted my love for this project and really loved those records. And then I got to see them live. They don't, they didn't do a lot of live shows, but they did a little a few live shows, I believe it was in around 2008 or so, they did a show in LA, really in, in Downey, I believe it was. I went with my dad to the show and they were just off the charts amazing, just playing to the top of their abilities, just mind blowing stuff. My dad was amazed with it. And I just, I totally fell in love with them all over again at that live show, just really amazing musicianship. And I just, I hope they get to play live at some point because they really need to. They're one of the best live bands out there. And the thing about Liquid Teaching Experiment, usually I struggle a little bit with instrumental music. I tend to like vocals because I feel like sometimes instrumental music can wander a bit and sometimes I, have, I struggle to find kind of the, the defining melody of a piece. It feels like it kind of moves in too many directions, which is kind of ironic maybe because a lot of the progressive rock music I love has long extended instrumental passages. But I feel like I like having it broken up a bit by by singing, by chorus, by a, a discernible chorus and melody in the vocals that really brings a new dimension to the music to me that helps give it variety and give it a, a different feel. But Liquid Tissue Experiment is kind of the exception to that rule. I think they find a way to insert enough personality and enough variation in the music that I don't really miss the vocals all that much. I think there's just so much on display here, so much different styles and, and things that they're throwing in the mix that keeps it varied and interesting throughout the whole record. And I just love every piece of music on this. It's It starts out with Hypersonic, which is just a real strong blast of music, just super fast, super technical, that just hits you right off the bat. That's what they like to do with their records. They always start with a really fast instrumental workout that just kind of melts your brain right off the bat. And so that's how it starts. And there's a lot of good, like quirky bits towards the end as well. Very proggy track towards the end. 
with some really fun bits thrown in the mix with Jordan Rudess and, and of course some amazing playing with uh, Petrucci. Just really great stuff all around. Beating the Odds is more of an uplifting track, kind of soaring and really has a lot going for it. A lot of epic and uh, majesty to the sound. And then it moves to Liquid Evolution, which is kind of a little bit of a break. Uh, more of a slower piece, maybe more almost New Age inspired, jazzy to an extent. Kind of a shorter piece there that kind of focuses on Tony Levin, especially on bass a lot. And on some good drum work for Mike Portnoy, of course. Before moving into The Passage of Time, which to me The Passage of Time may be like the best track here. It's definitely up there. It's the first track they released as a single. And it just, it really sets the stage for for what this group where this group is at in this stage of their career. And it's, I believe it's the first composition that they worked on initially and kind of fitting the passage of time. The title fits kind of this theme of it being so much time since their previous album. And it just hits hard. It has everything, has great riffs, has great, you know, instrumental, you know, technical stuff going on. That's just super, super amazing and fun to listen to. It's just, it's, everything in, in, a, in one great package of what Liquid Tension Experiment does so well. So I really appreciate that. I think it's an amazing, amazing track. Then we move on to Chris and Kevin's Amazing Odyssey, which is kind of a, a very almost avant-garde kind of a section between bass and drums. Tony Levin and Mike Portnoy kind of playing off of each other. Uh, this is kind of a, a third in a series. They do this on each of their records of this Chris and Kevin uh, journey. And this kind of fits right into that and is very different and very interesting and kind of presents an interesting uh, contrast to a lot of the other pieces that surround it. And then we move to Rhapsody in Blue, which is something I want to highlight. I, I love this. I think this is an amazing track. Uh, of course, it's a cover of the classic of classical composition by uh, George Gershwin, Rhapsody in Blue, and they just totally make it proggy and amazing and throw in everything but the kitchen sink in there. And they perform this live at the concert I saw, and it was a total highlight of the show. And it was really the moment my dad really perked up because, of course, he's familiar with Rhapsody in Blue. He's a piano, he's a piano player by profession, and just really familiar with that piece of music and was just in total rapture hearing that version thought it was really cool and I did as well I thought it was amazing I love that piece of music even before I heard even before I heard Liquid Tension Experiments version it just was totally amazing and this version on their album is is just as amazing really they pulled out all the stops it's a really great piece of music that I think is a centerpiece for the album just really quirky proggy fun, varied, adventurous, all the things that I want in my progressive rock music. Um, Shades of Hope is a shorter piece by Petrucci and Rudess that's really pleasant and really kind of, once again, is a palate cleanser between these two mega epics and the final ep closing epic of the album, Key, Key to the Imagination, is, is incredible. Uh, it goes through so many different movements and styles it, but at the same time it kind of takes its time to develop certain melodies and, and certain moments there's almost a cinematic quality to parts of it especially Jordan Rudess's playing is just so sublime and of course Petrucci just this whole album is, is such a showcase for Petrucci and his guitar playing it just he's such a maestro at guitar that it just sounds so excellent and there's some funky bits and some fun groovy stuff and some proggy things they throw everything in there and it's just what you'd expect from Liquid Tension Experiment, just totally fun, some fusion vibes, some jazzy vibes, just some metal kind of heavier vibes, the whole record, just so good. I just, I can't recommend it enough. I really think this is a, a great album. They really have have come into their own here. They, I mean, they really are an amazing group. I love the packaging as I showcased. I think this is just a great uh, product, just, all the way around, just a total success. I hope they continue. I hope they do another album in the near future because they really have the same chemistry that they've always had. Like the band has kind of said in interviews, it's like they, like no time has passed at all. They just 
even though it's been 22 years, which is a long time, and these band members are a lot older, they just stepped right back in, just as if no, no time had passed at all, and that they had the same chemistry, the same abilities on their instruments. You know, they're still just as good as they ever were, if not better. And so it's just fun listening to genius musicians at work doing what they do best. And that's what I love in progressive rock. So this is a strong recommendation. This is an album that'll feature highly, I'm sure, as one of my favorite records this year. I'm really excited to keep listening to it, to put on the that vinyl, you know, and to really immerse myself in this. And to to put on that 5.1 Blu-ray is gonna be a lot of fun too. So really excited. So hopefully you guys can feel my excitement and you guys check it out. I'm sure many of you uh, probably already have heard it and know it, but I'm hoping there's some out there that this really excites and gets into the, the spirit of liquid tension experiments. So really highly recommended. And thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy.